Hello and welcome back. This is Candace from Candoodle and today we're going to be making this puppy heaven card. Unfortunately, some friends of ours just lost their family dog, so I thought that I would make this sympathy card for them. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using the Clearly Besotted Playful Pooches, my favorite things, Birdie Brown Greetings Galore, the Lawn Fawn Rainbow Dye, as well as the Puffy Cloud Borders Dyes, and the Simon Says Stamp Nested Banners Dyes. So I'm just starting off by scoring my card base, and this is going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I am going to start by using my Tumble Glass Distress Oxide ink and the Lawn Fawn Cloud Stencil to blend the background. I started with a blending brush, but I switched to the Tim Holtz Blending Stump because it was giving me more of the result I was looking for. Um, and now I'm taking the cloud border dies, and I want this to have clouds be the base as well, um, but I wanted those to be die cut from cardstock. So I'm just kind of placing those where I think that they would look best, and I'm going to die cut them, um, putting them through my big shot. And so you can see I have them there, and I'm just placing them on my background to get an idea of where things are going to go. I also die cut that rainbow, um, which is the Lawn Fawn rainbow, and I'm just using my bone folder to lay down some of the bumps that went through my die cutting machine and then i'm coming in with some copics to color each part of the rainbow you could definitely do this with colored cardstock but i don't have a lot of cardstock so when i do things like this i tend to just color in my die cuts with copics because it's what works best for me um, again i don't have a ton of cardstock and i don't really have them in the rainbow colors i was looking for so it was easiest to just do it this way and now I am just lining that up on the background panel to see where things are going to go. And I am going to glue that down with my Lawn Fawn glue one at a time. Um, and I did put a piece of scrap paper there because I realized I had glued the first pink piece to my desk as I was working. And so once I'm done gluing those down, um, as you can see, they go off the side a little bit. But I am going to cut that down um, with my guillotine cutter later on. So now I am moving on to the stamping and I am just going to put some of the pooches that I think would look best on this card. As you can see, I am using more than I end up using on the card, um, but I'll show you that as I go along in the process. I'm not an expert with Copic coloring, but I am trying to get a bit better. I generally just go from lightest to darkest and then darkest back out to lightest. Um, and I'm just kind of using similar colors on each of the puppies, but trying to make them go together and go with the rainbow theme of the card as well. Um, I don't end up using that cute little bulldog there, but I do have him stamped down. I was originally going to use him, but you'll see later that I only end up including two of the dogs on the card. I also um, didn't end up using the tennis ball or the little food bowl either. And I'm just going ahead and taking the matching dies and I am going to cut those out. I am using Christmas washi tape because it's what I had on hand. Um, and so I am just going to peel those out of my die cut machine and there's me cutting down the rainbow like I said from before. And I'm just lining up the clouds to see where I like them and I am gluing them down fully except for the bottom two. I leave the top part um, without adhesive because I'm planning to tuck in the dogs um, so that it looks like they're kind of peeking and jumping out of the clouds. And I'm now just going to take that sentiment from my sentiment set there and stamp with Versamark ink so I can white heat emboss that. Um, and I just took the simple I'm sorry sentiment. And I do end up cutting that out with a nested banner. So I left this in because I think a lot of card makers, you see these come together beautifully. They have this amazing design, but that is not how it went for me. I really had to experiment with how I like these to look. And I ended up only using two of the dogs and it really took a lot of fiddling to get a design I liked. Um, but when I was happy, I did glue those down and I got an idea of where the sentiment wanted to go. Um, I did cut that down just because it was a little bit hanging off of my card base. Um, so I cut that down a bit and then I adhered it with just some tape adhesive to my card base. And then I cut it down again because there was still a little part hanging off. Um, and so I used my guillotine trimmer to just make sure all the edges lined up and then I took my sentiment banner die and I just popped that up um, with a bit of foam tape. I am trying to use up some scraps which is why I'm using the tiniest pieces ever. I did finish the card off with some little things from Lucy's cards, clear iridescent gems, um, and I just glued those on with some glossy accents and that is the final card. 
me in future videos, please comment them down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel. You can also find me over on Instagram at Candoodle Creations. I will see you in the next one. Bye!